Hello, hello, uh, Forever Mr. Eleven here, uh, coming back to you guys for our part three of our video. Uh, very excited to get this rolling. Uh, I do apologize, it's been a while since I've made a video. I've just been extremely busy and was unable to log in as much as I wanted to. So um, without further ado, we're just going to jump right in. Um, I only did one thing while we were offline here. Um, I went ahead and removed the devotion point that was here and put it here into the bat. So this is how we should be looking right now. We have our widow, we have our hound, um, we have the quill, the hawk, and now we are starting the bat. So that's where we stand and there shouldn't really be anything in the middle. I don't think we had to put anything else in the middle at this point. I think we're going to cover ourselves because um, if you'll notice here the bat gives you red and green and then we'll put some stuff into green we already have stuff in blue we already have stuff in purple we pretty much have everything covered and we're not going to really be putting anything into white so uh, i think we're going to be good to go there as well so um let's go ahead and get the ball rolling here um we are going to start off by going after our next shrine. So we're going to do a little bit more shrine hunting because uh, we we really want to make sure we're as strong as possible going into ultimate. And I know this has not been going extremely fast, but it'll it'll definitely be speeding up in time. So um, I do want to get over to the East Marsh area, but I don't think the passageway is going to be open for us. I don't think we have a stick of dynamite on us. No, we don't. So if we can go and get lucky and get a stick of dynamite real quick, then we can go over to East Marsh and get that shrine. Alright, here we are. Oh, I forgot to put my buff on. There we go. Let's see here. Gotta get a little reacclimated with my tune. Jesus, yeah, this is, this is nice. All right, stick of dynamite. It's all we need, boys. There's no action up here. Oh shoot! Didn't even see those guys. That skill's not ready. Wow, we are clearly hitting harder than we were before. All right, still don't see a stick of dynamite. Got a little scrap there. Nothing back here. Let's see if we can get lucky down here. I think there was a stick of diamond down here before, so maybe we'll get lucky. Wow, we really are seeing the power of this uh, build at this point. Goodness. That's how you get things done. A little scavenge plating. Still don't see a stick of dynamite. I'd like to find two if I can. Can't believe those guys didn't see me. Okay. No look on the dynamite. This might be another bust on the dynamite again. There are a few other places to get it, but this one usually is pretty solid. Um, well, we're just going to keep moving along here and hopefully get lucky. That skill's not ready. Still no look on the dynamites. Oh, didn't even 
see those guys. A little rusty, it's been a few days. <laughs> Yeah, this might take a while, so, I mean, if you guys want to fast forward past this part, I mean, just, I don't see any reason why you, you can't. Until we find that dynamite. Come on, scrapping food rations. Where's my dynamite, guys? Alright, so, no dynamite yet. I suppose we can kill this guy. I was really hoping to ninja some dynamite right there. Uh, oh. Alright, I think last time we found it over this way. Maybe we'll get lucky. There's dynamite here. No dynamite. Man. I almost feel like I should go farm some on another character just to bring it back here because this is just ridiculous. Oh, this guy's not happy with me. Alright, I'll go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, bro. Let's go. I can't do that yet. I can't do that yet. Look at that. Alright, still no dynamite. Alright, well. Let's carry on. A dynamite sure is valuable in this game. Gun guy against gun guy. Let's roll. Come on, buddy. Piece of me. If he moves one step, it'll explode on him. Come on. Okay, no dynamites. Alright. Which one of you knuckleheads is carrying my dynamite? I honestly don't even know how much I need. Oh man, I was really hoping to get it there. That's where I got it last time. Oh, there it is. See, I knew there was dynamite in here. Now let's just take another look around. We might need two of them, so it doesn't hurt to be thorough. We're already in here. Yeah, we'll probably need another stick of dynamite later, so why not just look around for more? Alright, guys. That skill's not ready. Got some dynamite over here for me? Oh, you wanna shoot me too, huh? Oh, so hoping for some dynamite there. That skill's not ready. I'm not gonna lie, this is getting pretty ridiculous. <laughs> the <laughs> the amount of damage I'm doing is I feel like I'm cheating. for us. Nothing here for us either. Well, I feel like it's probably going to be it for us. I don't see any dynamite over there. Well, I'm hoping it's one. Let's just go find out. Alright, so we need to get over to East Marsh. So, East Marsh is tucked away over here. We're going to go to... 
Burwich Village. Alright, looks like we have a little party here. It's funny, I can't though, do just that completely yet. murdering everything on this map. Soiled trousers. <laughs> That's always something fun you want to get. Soiled trousers. Okay, we got our dynamite. We're going to head down this way. Excuse me, guys. I just need to get by. I don't want any trouble. Just trying to get to the ghost. So what I'm going to do here... Uh, I don't think that's the right way. I think it's this way and... Should be... There it is. Oh, is it not that amount I needed? I just needed scrap? Oh no, does he take one dynamite to clear the bridge? Okay, bridge is cleared. Repair the bridge. Boom. Bridge is repaired. Let's go to East Marsh. So now in East Marsh, I'm trying to get to the exact opposite end. So I'm just going to follow this left wall all the way and hopefully minimize our interactions with the beast over here. They're, it's weird. Um, I don't feel like this is a higher level area, but dangerous domain. Um, we take more damage. Um, and these guys are big boys. Look at that. Level 35 is hitting me right now. I'm a level 19, so I don't stand much of a chance, to be honest. So, I'm going to make like a tree and get out of here. Trivia, what movie is that from? If you guess Back to the Future, you are right. Oh boy, this is bad. No! So I'm going to drop... A rift there. I'm going to keep dropping my rifts in case I die. So, I mean, you can take your time with this and kill everything and just explore the area if you want. But for sake of time, I'm rushing through. And that's probably why I continue to die. Because I don't die very often normally. And I've died a lot in these videos. Oh. No, no way. Come on. Get moving. Stop shooting me. Oh, boy. Bridges are never good. Oh, wow, well, got across there easily. Okay. I'm gonna drop a rift here. Oh, wow, this is bad. I cannot believe I got out of there alive. Alright, so I zigged when I should have zagged, apparently. I'm thinking I need to go that way, but that's dangerous, so I'm gonna go this way. I need more open land. Oh, come on, get through. Maybe that'll slow you guys down. Oh, shoot. Go, go, go! Oh, that was a bad idea. So the goal here is to just go all the way east, and that, that's where we're going, technically speaking. Jeez, um, look at this. Can I get through this way? I think so. I'm really hoping I'm going the right way here. I don't remember half of this stuff here. I can't do that yet. Oh god, I'm going down here. Yeah, saw that coming. So I dropped my rift here, as you can see. It's going to help us get back to where we need to be. And... Alright, let's get the monitor guns going. Let's go back here. Let's go find my rift. There it is. I'm gonna have to run quickly. There's our shrine. Thank the heavens, right? Alright, now there's also a big boy back here, so I'm gonna have to make this quick. Sweet. So there's a big boy down there. Oh, he's over there, actually. I don't want anything to do with him. I'm going to get the heck out of here. So I'm going to go right back to town just so I can see where we want to go to next. So we got East March taken care of, so let's cross that off our list. We're now going to go to Barren Highlands. So, but I want to make sure we're as strong as possible. So we did get a level. 
So let's go over that real quick. Uh, we're going to drop a point into the bat here, so we got two into the bat. Okay. Next up, we are. Let's sell some of this gear. We don't need it all. Come see what's left. Definitely of don't my need wares. shields. Don't need that. Fire and burn damage. Phantasmal blades. I do like the phantasmal blades, but man, fire and burn is his. A lot of what we're trying to do, so let's swap that out, get rid of that, don't need the shield, don't need that, and do we want to put on soil trousers? No, we do not. We did get a level and can put on this Night Hunter's chest guard. It's actually a very good upgrade for us, so let's dump that. We've got some nice boots here, give us a little bit more speed it looks like. Very nice. Alright, let's get rid of that, so let's move this over, and we got a ring. Cunning, 20 cunning, offense, health, regen, attacks. Oh, I like that. That's a good, very good ring. So, gonna drop that in there. And a belt that does not enough for us. So, we got See everything we need now. Moving on. Oh, I'm sorry. We forgot to put the points in. So, Inquisitor or Shaman. Um, we got our Love Dragons back. Let's go ahead and finish off the Inquisitor. Um, so we are going to go three points. Um, so, I mean, we're just going for Uro Sensor. That's where we're going. I'm not going to keep it a secret. That's our goal. Um, it, this is a very important ability. It gives a lot of extra damage um, and reduces the damage against us, which double benefit, of course. All right, so now that we have that done, we're going to be going to... The Barren Highlands, or I'm sorry, Broken. Is it Broken or is it Barren? No, it's Barren. Let's bring up a map. All right, just give me one second here. I don't have my map pulled up for some reason, and that is very important to have. Alright, so Baron Highlands is over here. The shrine is right here. So we're going to go over to Broken Hills Rift. And hopefully that'll take us where we need to go. Okay, let's take a look at the map here. Yes, we are where we need to be. So let's just head down this way. And we're just going to try to avoid as many mobs as possible. Now, if you think you're going to die when you're doing stuff like this, just hit Rift Travel. And then that way you can continue where your feet left off. I, I just do it periodically, so I just drop one back there, as you saw. Uh, I don't want to take chances and waste time. So um, we are going to move as quickly as possible through this. Oh, wow, look at that. I got by. Come on, let me through. Let me through. There we go. Sometimes the mobs cut you off, and it really sucks because then you can't get through. Whoa, 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 guys, come on. Okay, up and around we go. We're almost to our shrine. I did a little prep work on this video before we started, just to make things go a little bit more quickly. Um, I know the last couple of videos I was a little ill-prepared, so I wanted to change that a little bit. And like I said before, these the quality of the videos will be getting better. Um, that skills the content not will get better. It's just going to take time, uh, but in time, hopefully, we'll have something real nice here. Uh, I'm still being fallen, huh? I don't want a piece of me, bro. Get out of here. All right, another shrine, shrine <laughs> cleansed. I don't know what a shrine is, but uh, new new word to add to the dictionary. Okay, next one we want to go to Steps of Torment, into the misery section. So, let me take a peek at my map. So, Steps of Torment. Don't quite recall exactly where they were. I think they were further south. So, Steps of Torment are south. 
I'm gonna head back to the same rift. Now, I don't know exactly where this one is. Um, I do know how to get to that area. I don't know exactly where it is, so that could cause us some complications here. So we gotta head through this. Now, since I'm putting in all this work, I'm gonna drop a rift right there. Oh, let me through. There we go. And across the bridge we go. So, Steps of Torment Entrance. Why do I feel like I'm going the wrong way? Well, we'll find out in a second. No, it looks like the right way. There it is. I see it now. Just got to make my way over to it. Oh, boy. Come on, boys. Get out of my way. People, I got things for people to see here. All right. Is there going to be a guardian here? I don't see any guardians. So let's go ahead and go inside. Now, right now, we are on the top level of the Steps of Torment. We want to get to Misery, um, so that's what we are attempting to do here. So the first level is just Steps of Torment, the next level is Pain, the next level is Misery. So we need to find our way through Steps, so I'm going to bring up a map. So I'm alt tabbing out um, and I'm pulling up my map because I want to see exactly where we need to go to get to the next level and make this as quick as possible for you guys. And I think we need to go up into the top corner over there. So I'm going to somewhat follow a path here. I don't know if I can squeeze by everything. These areas aren't exactly user friendly. Okay, let's go down. I see it. I see it in the distance. Oh, go, go. Leave me alone, guys. This should be pain. All right, we are on pain. So we're coming out here. Step for Torment Entrance 3, so that is on the opposite side of this map. Get out of my way, guys. Alright, so we're gonna go this way. Oof. Come on, let me through. Give me a path, boys. Give me a path. Oh, I don't see much of a path going on here. Alright, gotta make our own. Let's go. Oh boy. It's almost like they all was healing. Seems like Healy attacked me. Alright, come on, we're almost there. Dig, baby, dig, 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 and we are there, yes. So this should be Misery. It is Misery Loves Company. Here we go. We're going to head over to the left if it allows us to. Sometimes they have boulders in the way. Oh, great. Now I'm locked, and oh, we got a party here. I can't do that yet. I see it. I see it. Do you guys see it? It's in the distance. Oh, and that way is blocked. We gotta go another way. Oh, and we have an elite here. This could be I a problem. can't do that yet. Alright, heal up, heal up, heal up. Let's head down. I think we gotta kill stuff on this shrine, so I'm gonna start clearing some trash right now. Oh, that's not good. That skill's not ready. Skill's not ready. Oh boy. The 
that skill's not ready. Alright, so... Let's try and take these guys out as quick as I can. Oh, come on, go, 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 take them out. Give me some procs here, give me some procs. That skill's not ready. guys and they're blocking. It's ridiculous. Alright, so like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to kill stuff here, so first thing I'm going to do is see if there's anything in here. Yep, and there's a lot. Here we go. That skill's not ready. It would really help me out if you guys stopped blocking me. That skill's not ready. See what happens. Oh yeah, we gotta fight. I'm gonna focus on this guy first, and then I'll go after Big Boy. That skill's not ready. Looks like we got some more guys in the back. And more, jeez. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a fight. I can't Whoa. do that yet. Okay, so this archer needs to die. That lightning guy needs to go. They all really need to die, to be honest. I can't do that yet. Not enough for this big guy, that's for sure. That's what he's doing. He's raising the dead. Oh, and there's a healing priest. Man, I sure am not seeing a whole lot. Alright, got our shrine. Got a nice little... Oh, big chest here. Got a couple good items. Oh, wow. Look at all that. A lot of goodies for us. Oh, there's got to be an upgrade in there somewhere, right? Uh, boots we don't need. Gloves. Uh, no, those aren't as good. Wow. That's a good helm, but I think ours is better. Ring. Uh, not as good as what we got. And we are good to go. So we got that shrine. All right, good pat on the back there. Now we're going to go to the Mountain Deeps. So let's get our portal up here. We're going to make our way to Dead Man's Gulch. Mountain Deeps, there we go. So we're going to have to head around this way. Now I want to bring up a map real quick because I don't remember exactly where it is. So let's go back to the Mountain Deeps. Okay, the Mountain Deeps are not a friendly place at all. Um, I've died here quite a bit of times and it's, it's really not fun to do. So, drop my portal there, we're gonna hop right in. Basically gonna hug the left wall all the way until we get to the shrine. And I don't know that we're going to be able to survive without killing stuff, so... A lot of this area is really tight, so that's part of the problem. And as you can see, these guys hit pretty hard. Alright, you're toast. And let's hug the wall here and keep going, try to avoid all danger possible. Why does this feel like a trap right here? I can't do that yet. I feel like we're like walking into something. This is just one of those things like this is easy. Too easy. See ya boys. Oh, look at that. See, this is why we need dynamite, so we can unlock chests like this. Alright, let's drop another one of these for good measure. Oh yeah, look at that, we got some spiders. And another 
level. Good job. Okay, let's head here, and the shrine should be right up here. Oh. That skill's not ready. Well, there are definitely some guys here. Let's just start the party. Oh, boy. They're trying to surround me. Oh, one or two good procs. These guys are toast. Excellent. So we did get another level. So let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to go back to Inquisitor. Boom. Three more points because we are trying to get the Aura of Sensor. Um, going to go into the Devotion. Make us a little bit stronger. We have two Devotion points. We're going to go two into the Bat right there. Boom, boom. A little Vitality damage. Attack damage converted to health. That's going to be helpful in some of these mobs that we can't kill too quickly. <laughs> Every shot I'm healing, that's right. That, that skill's is not right. ready. This one is a offering or a no, it's a kill stuff, okay. So I'm gonna drop a couple of my Inquisitor seals here. Now I'm gonna get the ball rolling. Oh yeah, this, this is not good. I can't do that yet. A couple early procs will be helpful, come on. Back up just a little bit. Range against range, and I get a heal, boys. I don't know. I think you're pushing your luck there against me. Okay, so looks like we have guys on the way to us. I just saw them in the distance. So we are gonna just exit stage left here. Uh, let's just go to old Arcovia and just settle down there for a second. Um, bags don't really need a whole lot of cleaning. I can do that off time. So we just took down the Mountain Deep's uh, shrine, and I believe that gets us our bat completion here. So uh, let's dive in here and take a peek. So it does. Now, I kind of built this build a l little bit different than I usually do, so normally what I do is I drop a um, Storm Totem in here. Um, in this case, I'm just going to drop a Storm Spread for now, and we'll do we'll just stick with that and uh, see, see how that goes. But the bat is completed, so the next we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing this ghoul here. And our goal is, of course, to get down here. Uh, we're still short a few of the reds. Um, short one green and we're short uh, three blues so that shouldn't be an issue the goal is going to give us a um, portion of the red we need the dragon head will get us a couple of the other ones that we need and then um, we can also get the viper as well the viper will help we might actually be better off just getting the viper over this one to get us through this so let's go back to our rift here. We are going to... This is the Shaded Basin we're going to go to and you know I'm not a big fan of this area. Um, the spawn point can be in like six different locations. Makes it very difficult to find this place. It's basically Briar's um, what's his name? Bash Briar or something? It's his lair. We have to kill him to get access for the Forgotten Depths. And the Forgotten Depths will then, um, get us to our shrine. Alright, so we're in the Jagged Waste now, moving down. Oh, don't pin me here. Come on. 
All right, looks like we're about to make it to the Shady Basin. I'm going to drop a rift here. There we go. Now, the first entrance he can be in is usually right up here, so if we get lucky, it'll be right here. Um, I see one. I don't think that's the one we're looking for, though. It is a cave entrance. Okay, so the top part's open. This is not the way we're looking for, so I'm going to go ahead and head back. Wrap around and see if that cave is the cave we're looking for. It's not going to tell us. There's multiple caves. It's not going to tell us which one is the one we need to go to, so... There we go, sweet. Okay, so... Let's just go in here. Wait, I, yeah, this is where we need to be. Wow, how about that? Talk about lucky. Well done. Now, I'm going to alt tab out again because I don't know exactly where this one is. Okay, looks like you just follow the right wall from, from the Grim Tools map that I'm looking at. Um, and again, there's no secrets here. I'm using Grim Tools. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's, that's going to be problematic for me. That skill's not ready. These guys do hit really hard. I can't do that yet. And these guys heal fast. These guys are not sure. That skill's not ready. That skill's not ready. Okay, that can't be good. Try and take out all those little guys first. I can't do that yet. Alright, now we can get... Still putting bleeds on me? Where's our guy behind him? There is a healing guy behind him. That's going to be a problem. Yep, there is. He's right there. If I could just kill him. I can't do that yet. I'm just going to run right by him. Okay. I can't He's do that definitely yet. definitely putting bleeds on me. Can't do that yet. Oh man. I really thought he was gonna get me there. Alright, so we got some spiders on the flight. Oh, it's a spider matriarch. Matriarchs aren't a whole lot of fun because they just keep spawning little babies. <laughs> this really feels like a trap. Yep, it sure is. That skill's not ready. Oh, boss spider. So she's gonna keep spawning them. I can't do that yet. Can't do that. Gosh, yet. she's got health. I can't.
Can't do that yet. Oh, Jesus. She hurts when she does that crap. That skill's not ready. We're not at options here. That's what's hurting me is that freaking. That skill's needle. not ready. Alright. Let's go toe to toe with her, see what she does. That skill's not oh, ready. Portal just in case. Oh, this is a gamble. Come on, 15,000 more. I can't do that yet. Well, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, get a pot off, get a pot off. I can't do that yet. Got a heal off. Might just get her right here. All right. Whew, that was intense. All right, so, um... Heading back over this way. The shrine should be right up here. And yes, I do see it in the distance. We might get a little straggler spider or two. Let's see. Just an offering. Excellent. Got our shrine. What's funny is we're almost at another level. So this is actually an effective way of leveling. We're getting a lot of experience from these sh shrines. Excuse me. Um, I think it's time for me to go turn some of my gear back in. So let's head back over. I'll just head all the way to Devil's Crossing. Safest place I know of. Alright, let's talk to this chat here. Um, so basically, I don't think any of this is going to do us any good. I know that stuff isn't. Um, let's see. Pierce Cold. Huh. Not bad, but not great. Don't need any of that. And we are back in the game. Okay. So, the next use. one that we're going to be going for is the Tyrant's Hold one. So, let's head back this way. Now, Tyrant's Hold is just around the corner from here. We were we were actually right there. So, we're going to head back the same way we came in. It's probably the quickest way to get to Tyrant's Hold. could use like a sprint burst right now or something that'd be extremely helpful I'm just leaving all that gear just uh, usually I pick it all up but just like I said for the sake of the video I'm going to try to speed things up for you guys so I am heading back the same way I came oh man there's just a ton of mobs I did leave quite a few didn't I Let's see if I can get through this way. I think this is the way I was going before, and it did, I believe, provide me with a way to get through. <laughs> I think I literally just went in a full circle. That's funny. Okay, we're at Tyrant's Hold Road. Okay, this guy just keeps following me. Get off me. Shouldn't be too difficult to evade things here. Uh, I see the shrine already. So we might have to kill a few things. I'm going to hug this left wall here. I've been here a few times, so I am pretty familiar with it. Alright. They did not like me getting that at all. Uh, Marauder Ammo Belt. That sounds promising for us. So, I am going to first put some points in because we just got our next level. Alright. So, one more point. We are going to be at the Era of Censure and be where we want to be for the Inquisitor. Um, let's see. Wow. That is a great pelt. I wonder if I have any more of that set because that set is amazing. Alright. Okay, so we got Tyrant's Hold all set. Next is the Infested Farms. Uh, we are only about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are eight away from heading into Elite. And in Elite, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Uh, eight more in Elite, and then we are on our way to Ultimate. So we don't have too much longer. So bear bear with me here. Uh, so we want to get to the infested farms, and we're going to go to the rotting croplands to get there. So there are two... Um, there are two shrines in this area. One of them is in the Queen's Lair. The other one is over here where I'm going. So I'm basically just following the path north, trying to avoid as much stuff as possible. And the shrine should be right up here, and I can see it in the distance. This is one of the easier ones to get to. I mean, every now and then you get spawns like these right here in your way. Just knock them out real quick, and we are good to go. Okay, I'm gonna make a quick offering. Oh, look at that! Double epic drop, yeah! Uh, not the best drops, but dang, I'll take a double epic drop any day of the week. Alright, going to Rotting Croplands yet again. And we do have three devotion points at the current time, so uh, what I'd like to do is plan our next area we're going to be going into. So we were going to go for the ghoul here. I kind of wanted to get that snake though, so that way we can get a little bit of blue and a little bit of red. The blue is going to finish us off for what we need down here. So that gives us our 10 blue. We are one away from green, which will come from this right here. So we still need a purple to get down here. I think I might have gotten rid of this purple a little too quickly. So let's go ahead and go back and do that. I'm going to come down here and snatch this one up. And we are one point away from getting our Elemental Storm. Jeez, what am I thinking? Elemental Storm is amazing. So I'll get it here in just a little bit, and I'll show you guys what it's all about. In the meantime, I am looking for the Spider Queen's Lair, and she's going to be this way uh, toward the uh, west side of the map. Yeah, I don't know exactly where. Oh boy, this isn't good. Uh, a lot of these fellas. Oh no! I can't do that yet. That's what you get for blocking my path, boys. Guys didn't know who they were messing with. Okay, so Queen's Lair is going to be up this way. And we are almost to the corner, and that's where she is typically. So she could spawn in a few different locations. And we are almost to those locations now. There we go. This is the area where it's at. We just need to find out exactly where it's at. I might have to clear some of this trash. Lately, I mean, there's there's a few different spawn points for it, but um, I want to say lately it's been up here more than not. Could be on the other side. Nope, not seen. Oh wait, there it is! How about that? Alright, so we are in the Royal Hive. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and bring this up on Grim Tools again, look at the map. Um, so we are in the Royal Hive, and I do not recall exactly which way we're going to. Uh, we're going Skittering Den, Den of the Lost. Okay, yeah. now, now I remember. So right now we're looking for the Skittering Den. I don't know which one of these it is. Let's see here, Turpentine Tunnel entrance. That's, that's probably where we need to go, so let's just make our way that way. And there's a lot of mobs in here, it's really easy to get trapped, so you really do gotta watch where you're going. So that's why I'm, I'm literally killing these guys here. I don't want to get trapped. I can't do that yet. Down to 19 pots. I'll have to buy more soon. I, I pot a lot, uh, especially when I'm doing videos. It just makes things easier. I mean, normally I can kite them pretty well, but if I kite them, then it's going to take more time. I don't think you guys want that. So this is the swarming hatchery. We don't want to go into the swarming hatchery, so I'm just going to exit out of there. Um, it is a good place to get a few elites down, but 
Uh, again, for the sake of time, we're gonna skip right over it. So, there's another tunnel entrance in the distance over there. I'm guessing that's the one. Oh boy, look at that. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get out of here. So, that guy, I forgot his name, but he's part of a quest, which we're not concerned with right now. Oh man. What am I asking for now? That skill's not ready. Just want to get by, man. I don't want no trouble. I'm trying to focus all my firepower forward so I can just run through. I can't do that yet. Finally, all right. Here we are, skittering den. So basically, what you're gonna do here is just hug the wall to the left. That skill's um, not ready. We're looking for a secret passageway. And the place we're going to is, is not going to be a very easy place. Twin Fangs has reached level 2. Nice. Okay, so there's a little break in the wall right around here. Come on, go, go, get out of my way. Alright, we are in. So now that we're in, this is the Den of the Lost. So it's going to be up here on the top left, um, but again, this is this is dangerous domain. There is a lot of I stuff in here. I can't do that yet. So I'm going to be a little careful. Jeez. It's these guys back here that flood me just to get me. Can't do that yet. If there's any way for you to get the blood mages quickly, do it for sure. All right, I'm, I can't I'm do gonna that be a little yet. patient here so I can try to kill them quickly. Yeah, there are the blood mages again. That skill's not ready. Got him. Nice. All right, now we're about to summon an army of guys. So what I'm going to do is protect our side over here. Oh yeah, I forgot about Gallus. Gallus, not I mean, you guys can be the judge, but does that not look like Smeagol and Gollum from Lord of the Rings? Come on, let's get real. It's exactly what it is. We all know it. That skill's not ready. Game creators try to get a little creative with that, but I think we can all agree that's who it is. And he's the deep dweller. Come on. Couldn't get more obvious that that's who we're talking about here, so he's over there. I'm going to leave him over there. I can't do that yet. That skill's not ready. Try to get out of that poison. I think that level just saved me. Golos is still coming after me. I wonder if I go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Let's see. I can't do that yet. So far, not bad. That skill's not ready. A couple more procs, we got him. Come on, almost there. Got him, yeah. All right, excellent. So, um... A lot of things happened there. We got a shrine, we got a uh, golem, and we got a chest up here. I know that. Let's see if there's any mobs in our way. No, we're good. Come on, epic. There we go. Another epic. Nice. All right, so got some pants here, cold frost and poison bee skin. Uh, hmm, yeah, this actually might be better. So. Now we got that shrine. Let's go back to our devotion here. We have one devotion point. We are going to 
get our elemental storm. Okay, now what ability to put that to? We are going to put that to... Let's go Inquisitor Seal. And that's going to wrap that up. So, confirm the change. We're going to go back to Inquisitor. We are going to get our Ur of Sensor. So let's go ahead and put that right here. Boom. Do I have anything else I need to put? Don't think so. Alright, so got my second aura here. Outstanding. So, now that we got that done, it's not a bad ring. Two more points are available. We're going to go over to Shaman now. We're going to start making our way along this tree now. So we're going to go and put two points here. So we're going to get the uh, Heart of the Wills, what we're going for, as well as Oak Skin, uh, definitely Tenacity of the Boar, and Storm Touch. We're going to be maxing all three of these out basically in time because they're just way overpowered and so worth it. So that is the, uh, the main goal there, is to get all of that. So... Next... Shrine. Okay, so we got Infested Farms, we got Den of the Lost. Now we're going to try to get to Port Valvery in Conflagration. Um, so that one is in the area, but not in the area, that's the best way I can put it. Uh, it's going to be up here in Conflagration now. The exact location is uh, a little tricky to find, and I'll show you why here. So we are going to follow this road. It's going to be up here and to the left. Oh, there's no way through there, huh? Okay, so I gotta take a little break over here. Oh man. I can't do that yet. Okay, so we got that cleared up. Let's head this way. Kill's not ready. Okay, so the place we're looking for should be up here on the left. Let's see if this is right. I think I see it. That skill's not ready. Three dynamites get through here. Well, that I was not aware of. I don't think for the sake of time we should go there and do that because three dynamite is a lot. So we're going to skip that one. We're going to go straight over to the Blood Grove. If we end up with three dynamite, we'll come back to it, but I, d I think it's going to be best for us to just go straight over to the Blood Grove. Okay, so we are going to be going south. Shrine should be somewhere this way.
Okay, so I see the shrine. I don't see an easy way to get there that way. So we're gonna go down this way. This is probably gonna be some sort of a trap. Pick another green. Uh, oh, wow, look at that gun. That is a very nice gun. And it goes with our other item, giving us four offensive ability. I mean, this is this is just outstanding. So um, let's swap this out. It says better in the offhand. So we're going to keep that gun there. That really helped us out a lot for damage. So that should speed things up a little bit for us. So we got the Blood Grove Shrine. We do got to get the Dark Veil Village one. Okay, so let's find the quickest way to Dark Veil. Dark Veil is right up here. If I go to this rift, I will be in Dark Veil, so I have no way of getting up there except for Blood Grove. This is kind of a hike. I don't know if this one's exactly worth the trip, to be honest. Um, it is a long hike, and there's a lot of stuff from here to there, so. don't know if this is the best way to get up there either. Uh, I might be going to the fort up here. Oh, I do see the road. Fort Heron. Hoping there's a way through here. Looks like there is. And again, this one, I I don't know if it's worth it. It takes a while to get to. Um, yeah, we are literally in Fort Heron, so we don't want to be here. So we did end up going the wrong way. So we're going to go back this way. We're going to go down south, and then we're going to go north. So I believe if we just follow this wall here, it'll take us right up to where we need to go. So let's head back this way and up. Okay, it looks like we are on the right direction here. Village of Darkville. Okay, yeah, we are definitely in the right path. I'm literally just going to keep heading north until I hit a wall. And it looks like left. There we go, found the road. And I'm going to follow the road all the way up. So this is going to get a little crazy. There are a ton of mobs in this area, so this is going to get a little wild. Especially if I run into an elite, which I'm probably going to any minute now. Okay, so I still don't see the shrine in my sights. Gonna start preparing though because I'm expecting some trouble coming up ahead. Okay, I see the shrine. So at this point, I'm going to need to start killing stuff because we don't want to get stuck with the shrine and all these mobs. Okay, so I'm that I know there's a bunch of ready. mobs up here and this is gonna be a little problematic. All 
Alright, let's, let's dance. That skill's not ready. That went a lot better than I anticipated. So, that was great. I <laughs> said, okay, that actually was worth it. So, Darkfell Village, we got that one. Now we're going to go to Asterix Valley. Now, there are two over here in the valley. Um, they are not in the most convenient of locations, so the Mondragon Shrine one is all the way over here, it's up against the wall, so I'm just going to head as east, as far east as I possibly can, I should run into it. And we did the prerequisite by getting into the secret area, so we should be able to cleanse the shrine. Keyword should. Okay, I think it's further south. Still don't have it in my sights, and there it is. Oh, wow. We got a lot of mobs to deal with. Can't do that yet. All right, excellent. We got that taken care of. This shrine is sealed by cathonic energies. So apparently, we didn't do all the prerequisites for that. So we still need to get that taken care of. So on that note, let's head back to our portal. And we're going to head to the west this time. So there are going to be a ton of mobs up here, and we're going to have to take them out. I can't do that yet. I can't do that yet. Got a level, and we got another epic. Excellent. Okay, so now that we got that one done, there is one in Necropolis we can get. We still need to find two others that we need to make up for the ones we couldn't get. So let's see what options we have here. There was, there is one in um, the Tomb of the Watchers. Don't think we want to go there. So we can get the Necropolis one, and then the Black Sepulcher. We can do that. So let's go to the Gates of Necropolis. Actually, we need to go to the interior rift. That skill's not ready. Oh boy, let's put up a rift. That skill's not ready. All right, so good thing I put that rift there. So let's reactivate our abilities. I'll give you good so much of the stuff we don't need. Oh wow, look at that gun. That's level 26 though. 
Um, this one is an upgrade too. Finally rid of that gun. This is not an upgrade. At this point I'm looking for damage, so I really don't care if the glove is... If the gun matches the damage output we're putting. It's more of the, um, the total damage that it does that I'm more concerned with. Wow, that's actually pretty nice. Burn damage, fire damage, burn damage. That is a lot of damage. And I'm going to go ahead and slap that on. Looks like our ring is ready to rock. The ring is probably going to be better here. Okay, so we just use. got a lot of upgrades on gear, that's for sure. So let's go back to our devotion tree here. We are going to go ahead and complete this one. Excellent. So now we can remove this point because we don't need it anymore. Um, and I am going to go for the snake. Let's go talk to our girl over here and get that point removed. And in the meantime, one, two, three, boom. We are now into the shaman tree and just about to get our next ability. I sense turmoil within you. Farewell. I know, I know. Here we go. Okay, so next ability we're going to get is the Wind Devil. Uh, so we need one point for that. Alright. So let's get rolling here. We're going to go back to our we we'll get some revenge on the guys that just killed us because that was not cool. Wow. I can't do that yet. Jesus, those guys hit so hard. I don't even think that's the boss that I'm facing, so. Let's try that again. Maybe I gotta take this a little bit more seriously. Can't do that yet. I can't do that yet. do that yet. Ow, that hurt. That skill's not ready. I was gonna say, please say that's all of them, because that was not easy. Alright, so I'm going to turn my camera around here because we're going to be heading this way. And this has not been easy, so I don't imagine this is either. These guys are way ahead of me, level. I can't do that yet. Death is only the beginning. These guys are ten levels above me. Okay, so the shrine is right over here, but the way is blocked. Huh. Ok, 
Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. It's usually the way I go. I've never seen it before, so that's a first. Oh, but here comes the welcome committee. to clear out this area. All right, so the area is clear. Let's go ahead and get set up here. I can't do that yet. And let's get the party started. Oh man, that guy hurt. I can't do that yet. Let's see if I can take him. That wasn't so bad. So we have now cleansed that shrine. Let's go ahead and take our point here and another one there. Let's see how we're doing on our progress on our devotions here. Uh, our goal is to get down here to the uh, Ultos Shepherd of Storms. We have our greens. Uh, we're about to get our blues and we are four away from the reds. So this is going to give us the two we need for the reds and the three blues and then we're going to go ahead and get the ghoul here and that should seal the deal for us all right so we are two shrines short of where we need to be and gonna be a little bit unprepared for these ones so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to go ahead and exit to the main menu. And we're going to come back into elite mode and try to get some of these easier shrines as quickly as we possibly can. Um, so I'm going to switch this over to elite. Okay, and the first one we're going to go for is going to be the Burial Hill one. Um, try to make that one out. That's, that's all we're trying to do right now is get the, as many shrines as we possibly can in order to um, basically get ready for ultimate difficulty. So Elite's going to be a lot more difficult. Um, we were struggling a little bit in normal trying to run through stuff, so we're going to get what we can, I mean, oh man, okay, so that didn't go so well, let me go grab some more health bots and we will see what we can do. You see anything you like? I'm going to buy as many as I can. All right, so let's around. try that one more time. So right now we're just targeting the easiest shrines we possibly can get to. Um, obviously this is supposed to be an easy shrine, but I uh, got a little caught up uh, trying to get there. Skills not ready. OK, 
Okay, we are in. Now we are just trying to get down there, so let's try to run through. Hopefully aggro as little as possible. So we got that one. That one was not too bad at all. Let's go back into our devotion points and let's put that one into the snake here. All right, so we are now at 10 and 10. We just need the ghoul here and we are good to go. So let's see what other one is not going to give us too much trouble. Um, the Birdwitch Estates one isn't too bad, so let's go up to, you know what, let's go back to the foothills. I mean, this one's probably going to be one of the more difficult ones, but it might be worth it. We are going to have to kill all the way there, because I don't think we're going to be able to leave any mobs behind and survive. Jeez, Louise. That skill's not ready. I feel like I'm fighting elites. Okay, these guys are definitely very high level compared to me. I can't do that yet. Oh, come on, man. That skill's not ready. I can't do that yet. I can't do that yet. Yeah, I don't think I can go any further than this. This is pretty tough. That skill's not ready. That skill's not ready. Alright, so yeah, that was definitely hard. Hopefully I don't have to find any more of those guys. Okay, so that skill's not there's ready. There's going to be a ton of mobs up here. Let's try to pull them little by little. Oh, stun is not good. I can't do that yet. So that wasn't too bad. I can't do that yet. Okay, this one's saying it requires an amber, so... We are going to need an amber. Don't know if I have any. Let me go take a look in the bank here. Let's 
Safe storage, no questions asked. No amber. Well, I'll yeah, this is just not going so well. Um, it's a little embarrassing to be honest. Uh, I'm very ill prepared for this. Well, I'm trying to make up for the, the couple of shrines that we missed back in normal, but uh, might be going a little too far here. So um, I'm going to go try something simple. We're going to go back to Old Arcovia and see if we can get the Rocky Ghost one. And we might be able to handle the Chromie one too, but not so sure. here we are So I'm clearing all these guys out because I don't think I can run through them at this point. Um, too low level for this area. Uh, elite mode is not a walk in the park. So, got to be a little more careful here. Okay, so that went well. Okay, now we did get our level. So let's go ahead and get our wind devil. A couple more points into shaman. Let's find our next plan of attack. Well, I'd say we go after the Cromley one. This one's going to be a little challenging on Elite. Yeah, I don't know if I can go into Act 3 with this guy right now. He's just too low level for the area. So we might be going into Ultimate pretty soon. I feel like the damage is there, but the life and the, the survivability is not at the moment, and that's what's causing this challenge for that us. That skill's not ready. So... Maybe we'll get lucky and get a stick of dynamite in here, huh? do that yet. Can't do that yet. Well, there is going to be a bunch of spawns coming down here. I know that. I can't do that yet. Well, as you can see, the damage is there, and the uh, the bat is definitely helping with our uh, health. I can't do that yet. A couple, we got a few more good pieces of gear as well. All right, so we're still gonna get us out here, of course. I can't do that yet. go another level another shrine excellent okay so another level another shrine let's bring this back up one two and three ready to rock there confirm changes we have two points to use 
Um, we've already gotten that all completed, and we've gotten our snake completed. So we are looking towards Mr. Ghoul here. So one, two, and three left to give us what we need to move down to the area we need to go. Okay, so now we need to make a decision of where we're going to get the rest of our points. Um, right now we need one, two, three. That will unlock this, and we'll get one, two, three, four, five. So we need eight more points. Um, ideally, we want to get those eight points before we go into ultimate. Um, we don't have to, but it would be beneficial to us to do that. So let's try the... I'm kind of torn which way I want to go with this. Um, Let's see, we got that one. We can go to the Flooded Passage. We can also go to Tyrant's Hold in the Pine Barrens. Let's, let's start off in the beginning. Let's go to Act 1, see if we can get a little bit more experience, possibly level up. We'll go to the Flooded Passage Rift for now. So we know it's north. That's pretty much all we know. I'm going to try my best to just run by everything. It might be the death of me, though. So let's drop some portals and be smart about it. Oh, come on, guys. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think we can run by most of these guys. Now that I said that, I'm going to get trapped. I know it. Uh... Still good to go. There you go. Take a little damage, spiders. Alright, we have our shrine. Okay, so this is where we're gonna start kicking some butt. That skill's not ready. So I'm really trying to make sure that we clear out as much of this area as we can right now because when we pull that shrine, we don't want any distractions. Okay, did we get everything? Looks like we got most of it, so... Let's... Let's get the welcome party started. I can't do that yet. Oh man, that is terrible. Stun is just the worst. That skill's not ready. Yeah, these guys are definitely taking a lot of damage from my AoE, that's for sure. Oh, I'm gonna get the big guy down. There we go. I can't do that yet. We got a spellmaker's grip, a hermit's leggings. Yeah, we did get a lot of gear. Alright, so, Hermit's Leggings. <laughs> wow, yeah, those are nice. I'm just gonna drop this. Yeah, just drop it. Um, okay, we got a gun that does a ton of damage. Look at that. Uh, okay, so that was a huge upgrade. Yeah, we're getting to the point with these big upgrades that just, they're, they're really gonna change our character and the amount of damage they're doing. Uh, I think that's about it, so we are going to now port and go back to town. Got to clear the bags real quick, and then we'll be on to our next adventure. Let me fix that camera angle for I'll you guys. I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. Some sort of boss over there, look at that. Lots of player grave gambit for me. So, we don't need that or that. Get all this cleaned up. Uh, not the greatest ring. Um, this is a better amulet, though. We'll take that. 
The main thing we're looking for is stuff that complements our um, our character's build, basically. See you around. So we're looking for fire damage, electricity damage, burn damage, all the and, and all of the above, basically. So let's see here. We got our devotion points. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a little bit stronger. But in here, let's go to this one right here. Okay, now another one we can get. Um, the Burwich Estates one's up here and the Outskirts one. So let's try the Outskirts one. See if we can find that one real quick. That skill's not ready. Holy moly so there's not a whole lot of running through that that's for sure uh, and I want to say it for like the fifth time you guys see me dying a lot this is not typical of this build it's only happening because we are rushing through it The build actually does have some pretty good survivability. Um, I can't do that yet. So we're looking for that cave, and there it is. Okay, so we found it. So now we need to get to the shrine, and it should be right around the corner over here. So I'm going to just hug this side wall. It's are dangerous times. So there's our nice shrine. That skill's not ready. I can't do that yet. shrine here. Sweet, we got that done. Okay, let's pop our portal, portal here. We're going to go to Burwich Village because we're going to be heading north to the estates. And let's just book it out of here. There's way too many guys there. Now I'm hoping I can get through this way. Hoping I don't get trapped. Now there are going to be a ton of mobs in the states, but that's okay. We will clear them out. Now today we're not going to get to ultimate and um, unfortunately this video is taking longer than expected. So we are going to be ending it here soon, but um, I was really hoping to finish our shrines today, but it does not appear that that's going to be a possibility at this time. That skill's not ready.
Okay, I think we're ready to Let's cleanse this one. Oh boy. That skill's not ready. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Goodness gracious, and I didn't put up a portal. Alright, so... I think my rushing is getting me killed repeatedly, so... We're gonna go back to Burwich Village and get over to the Burwich Estates. I might slow this down just a little bit. So like I said, we're almost at the end of this video. Um, I just want to see how many shrines we have left. Uh, I might grab another two or three right now, and then we'll call it a day. And the next video, we'll finish up the shrines if we, I think there's any ease, you know, to just, you know, snake. If not, then, yeah, we are going to uh, go straight to ultimate. And like I said, that's when it's really going to get interesting, so... Um, and that won't be long from now. This is broken. This is not looking good. That skill's not ready. So let's see. Oh, I, did, I forgot I had the wind devil. Okay. We're going to put the wind devil on my bar here and we're going to start using some of that. That's going to be helpful. We do have another devotion point here. I'm just going to go ahead and throw it here and give ourselves a uh, chance to get some more help here. Okay, on this one we're going to go ahead and put... Let's do our aura. All right. Can't do that yet. That skill's not ready. Okay, I got that one. I can't do that yet. So, we've got another level. We are going to now get our Tenacity of the Boar. We are going to get uh, one point into Heart of the Wild. And just throw one more point in the Shamans. There we go. See if we got any upgrades here. It does not appear that we do. We did get our Shrine. So, let's complete our goal. 
that should have given us what we need to get down here, and it did. So we are one, two, three, four, five points away. So um, let's go back to town just to make sure we're safe here. Now, I know there is a shrine in the Warden's Laboratory. I'm just going to go there for now, and... So if we get the laboratory, the infested farms, the... I'm trying to think what other easy ones we can get. I mean, I don't know that any of these are really considered easy, but... Cavian Foothills, Lab, um, Infested Farms, that's three. We still need two more. Bloodgrove wouldn't be a bad one. Um, and that's just the four of them. The fifth one. East Mars was a challenge, so I don't think we want to go back there. I mean, we could go back to the, um, the Queen's Den, but I don't know about that. So let's let's just get this one right here um, and see where that takes us. Skills not ready. Excellent. So we just need four more shrines now that we got that one. So let's go ahead and put that point in. Okay. Cold damage and offensive ability. Just beautiful. Next is lightning damage. Then crit, frost, burn, and electricity. I mean, this is all just building into what we want to do. I mean, this is just amazing. And then the, of course, 100% chance on critical attack for the hand of Altos. This is going to be like a chain lightning. It's going to be amazing. Um, and let's confirm we are good there. Now, for the sake of time, we've, we've been on for quite a t quite some time here, so uh, I think we're going to go ahead and call it. So I'm going to go ahead and head back into town. We'll get the last four on the next video, and we'll head into Ultimate Difficulty, where you guys can really see the true power of this build. And we will play it the right way. We will play it slowly and show you exactly you what it's capable of uh, on the hardest of the difficulties. Um, oh, looks like I just threw away something that might have been good. Um... Yeah, these actually are better. So let's dump those. So again, going back to what I was saying, um, so we, we will be advancing quite a bit so on the next video. Um, so again, if you, if you guys are enjoying the content, uh, want to you know see more content, please you know like, thumbs up the video subscribe and continue watching the videos uh, I also plan on bringing out some videos for other games and uh, you know just like the sound off in the comments tell me what you guys are looking for what you guys want to see if you have any questions regarding the build or anything of that nature you know please you know feel free to ask me I'm more than happy to answer any of your questions and see uh, you around. until next time you know this is uh, forever mr. 11 and uh, appreciate you guys watching the video